Hi everybody, Chris here from Tree Holistic. Now in this video, I'm going to talk about what I personally do every day in regards to especially the products that I have created and made here at Trinity Holistic and how I implement and incorporate them in a, you know, a daily routine. Okay, and I don't really like to call it a routine because I don't really think much about it. It's, it's very simple and it's very kind of, it's second nature, right? It's, it's just, you know, it's something that is just part of me. And, uh, and it's, what, what I really want to push forth here, it's, it's sustainable. Okay, when we look, you know, from a human perspective that, you know, you know, from this perspective that we're trashing the planet and we're doing things that are not sustainable into the resources that we have here. Well, this is the great thing about getting into energy medicine, right? It's about getting a, connecting into what you're capable of. And, um, and you know, all the products that we make here at Truly Holistic is, is all about neutrality. It's not about duality because duality is this level of existence that has created that problem that we see as a sustainability problem. Okay, and, you know, the way that we, we don't try and fix duality problems with duality solutions, because as we try to fix that problem, we are creating more problems as we are fixing that. So we fix one problem, but then we create another two or three problems. It's, it's essentially, you know, you're chasing your own tail. Now with neutrality, you're rising above duality and, and seeing things with new, with a fresh perspective, a fresh perception of reality. And that reality is not you as the human being an observer or participant of reality and therefore relying on physical things, right? We, we, don't, we only call them physical things because that term physical comes from, you know, our visible sight, right? And our visible sight, right, is at least is 0.0035% of everything we could possibly see in this reality. It's nothing, okay? So... You know, essentially, when we see ourselves as physical, we are seeing ourselves as a representation of less than 1% of what we truly are. Okay? So, you know, that's not good enough. Okay? So, you know, and that's causing so many problems. So let, let's, let's invest in this other 99.9965% of self. And we do that when we go into neutrality. And we realize that, hey, we're not just the observer or participant. We're a creator, okay? And how we're creating is changing frequency and materializing it into matter, then the physical reality we will observe or see, okay? We're doing that. And we need to take a responsibility of that. The way that the world has become is because of the way we've created it to be, okay? It's nothing, it's not something else. We've got to stop pointing fingers at people, okay? For example... You know, if you, the only reason an outside influence will affect you is you placing your attention on it. By placing your attention on it, you allow it to become part of your awareness and it will only remain there as long as you're continually to place your attention on it. And that's, and, and, and do you know what we do when we place our attention on something? We direct our energy into that thing. So we're feeding the very thing that we don't like and our awareness. We are, not someone else. So it's, there's no, there's no point in pointing the finger to everybody. It's about let's just invest in self and find out what we're really capable of. Okay. So you know, all the things that I'm using here is, is very sustainable. And that's what I really want to make, what I want to really emphasize here. Now, I love the expression, the little things matter. Okay. Why? Because of that, right? Because if we've got full awareness of the present moment in the now, right? Which enables us to unlock the door to find our full potential, okay? Not just as human, but as a soul, as infinite consciousness. It's gonna allow us to make better choices and decisions. And I found that there are two decisions, choices that are bound to every moment of our existence. So that means that those choices are immediately materializing as the experience of reality that we're going to then experience. So when we break down that, that, that expression, which is really held, um, it's, it's, it's timeless, right? 
because it's got great, it's got depth to it. It's got greater meaning. And the little things that matter is that when we are aware of those little things, right? That the things that are present in every moment that most people overlook, we can make better decisions and choices of those two things that are bound to our every moment, which then is how we materialize that frequency of those choices into providing a reality that reflects our heart's desires, not what our mind wants us to feel. We are capable of that, okay? So let's get into some of the things that I do, you know, which are very easy. Now, I make a tensor ring, which we call a, sow- a, a, a shower heart activation ring. And what you do is you place it on uh, the pipe that's allowing the water to come through and then come into your shower head. So when you're, you know, the first, what I find with a lot of people is when they wake up, that quite a lot of, for a lot of people, that's when they have a lot of negativity is the first thing in the morning. So when you, you know, for most people getting out of bed, they're going to go and have a shower. Okay. Now the benefit of the water coming through pipes, so those pipes being underground is that it's part of the earth. So it's earthing that water. Okay. So straight away, you're getting that earthing or grounding connection. But by using this heart activation ring, it's enabling that water when it hits you to immediately remove your awareness from here where the negativity exists. Okay. Because other intelligence are using the mind as a Trojan horse to feed you thought forms and bring it all of a sudden out of there and back to where it's supposed to be in that heart space. Now, this is the doorway to everything that you are as infinite consciousness. So straight away, it's going to get you in a, what people would say, in a better mindset. But we don't like to use the word mind. You're going to be a, f- a lot more aware and a lot more present. Okay. And I have that on my shower. And we we do make two different sizes, one about this size and then one smaller, dependent on what would fit for your shower. And it's a wonderful thing, okay? It's, again, I'm not having to think about it. It's already on the shower. I just have to get in there and have a shower like I do every day. Simple. And that's the key to everything. The key to doing things every day or, you know, so many times a day is to keep it simple, okay? So that's what I do. Okay, and again, all these products are on my product store. Okay, trulyholistic.net forward slash products forward slash. Okay, it's called the heart activation shower ring. Okay, now water is an amazing thing in itself. Okay, but we'll get to that as, as well. Now, actually, we'll get to it now. <laughs> Next step is about the water I drink, right? Now, I fill my water in a big container, it holds. I think about, uh, it can hold up to 20 liters of water. So what I do is I just you get tap water and I fill it into this, in this big 20 liter bottle and, and I place it away from the sun because I don't want the sun directly on the, on, on the bottle. So I put it somewhere dark. I put it in my, um, in my cupboard where all, a lot of my food and everything is. And I shut the door so it's dark. And, um, but what I do is um, I place um my tensor rings on it okay and i've got three tensor rings which bring in three levels of connection okay the one that we use for the shower one is to get you to the doorway right so get you away from here and get and this is the start of your journey the other two rings take you further into that journey so when we apply that to water it has the same effect like it's applied to us okay everything that we see here is part of this physical reality is bound to consciousness. It's a projection of its consciousness. So water is a consciousness. So when we put that on that big liter of water, and I just keep it there, because then I just fill that fill that water uh, uh, up, you know, that, that container, it's going to just c- continually keep that water connected to its highest potential, all the way back to source. So that water that originally came from tap water is better than any spring water you would ever collect or buy. So I don't have to go out and drain the world's um, springs. I'm, I'm just getting it from the tap. How easy is that, right? But through energetics, we can change it and transform it to its highest potential. So all of a sudden, you know, and I've tested this water. 
<laughs> with some of the greatest, hardest critics you ever meet, right? So my son's 10, and when his friends come around, and we've done this test many times, and they notice a big difference in the water, right? The original water that came from the tap, and the water that we restructured, which was originally tap water, with these rings. Now we can use also the light product, uh, the light um, technology products as well. If you just want the one ring, but you want to bring through all the layers of levels of energy, uh, then you can just use these light stones in another in, in that way as well. And I've done a post recently on that, and that's what I'm starting to do myself. But you can also just get the three rings, and uh, and what they notice, and everyone notices, and what I notice is that the water is a lot more smooth to drink it's lighter the metallic taste goes away and it's more hydrating the water goes to the back of your mouth and then it just goes through the the membrane or and then goes straight into your blood blood it never comes down here and reaches your stomach you know some of the, you know that water that you drink sometimes and you end up being a water bottle when you're moving around you can feel it in your stomach now that's hard water and what that means that's water that is not is 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 not in a structured form that is easy to assimilate because the water becomes your blood okay so you want that water to just transform go straight into your blood and this water does it assimilates very easily just like that it's actually a little bit oily in te texture actually it changes its texture changes its taste and you know I, I can't drink anybody's water now like for example i drank my neighbor's water and it's my my parents are, are next door they live next door and, you know, it's just, you know, probably coming from the same water, water source, but I could, the water was just so hard and so heavy. It's terrible, you know. So, um, you know, if you want to use the rings like that, if you want something portable, then, you know, you get one of my, um, my water coasters. So wherever you get water from somebody's person's place, you can have that in your pocket and you just place it on there and you can restructure it again. And it happens very quickly. We're actually noticing with the light technology products like this, is restructuring the water even faster than the tensor rings. So that's been an interesting um, development that we've been noticing. So it's water. Now with food. Now I don't necessarily use products with my food. Now that because I'm using water, I, I wear personal products as well that I have in my field all the time. You know, I've got that ring on my on my shower. Is that the key thing with food is is being very present in the process when you're eating your food, okay? And enjoying the process. That's the key, okay? Because you're imprinting your will on that, okay? As I say, we're creators, right? So if we're eating food and let's say we're eating something and we get you know, fear of, all oh, that food's going to upset my stomach or it's going to cause a reaction with me or I'm, I feel shame and guilt because I shouldn't be eating I'm on this diet. I shouldn't be eating this. You're going to imprint that on that food. So therefore, and, and also change the state your body is. So therefore, it's going to change your state of your body and your digestion to a, to a degree that your digestive system is not equipped to digest that food you're going to break down, that you're going to consume. So all the meat, straight away, you're putting the odds in your, against you. So what I've noticed is that I can eat a lot of foods now and not have issues with because... When you are connected to you as an infinite reservoir of energy, food's not so much, is not as important anymore as a, a, a place where we need to get energy. That was a conditioning that came from the mentality of lack as a human. We all brought up right as that, right? You've got to have your breakfast, you've got to have your energy for the day. It's conditioning. Okay, food is just one of many, like 20 odd places that I know of where we can either leak or charge our energy with. Okay, so the key thing with food is being very present and just enjoying that process of, doesn't matter what food uh, that you're eating at that particular time, that's the key. And also, obviously, I wear personal products. As you can see, I've got a pendant on at the moment. We also make bead bracelets. I've actually got another um, um, pendant here, which also we Im implement uh, light technology in the middle, but we also have tensor technology all as one. And I love that. That's called the Eye of Neutrality pendant. It's beautiful. It's got it's got all the cubic measures that we 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 have all, all in one pendant. So it's a great pendant. So I wear both of those, and sometimes I wear the bracelet as well. So the key thing with that again, it's easy, right? You just to wear it. 
okay? Now, where we're progressing with going into neutrality is that healing's easy. Things need to be easy and simple, okay? When we get into complexity is when our awareness comes from here and gets back up here, and then we start to project with the mind. So we create with the mind, but the thing is, when we're in the mind, we create out of fear. So we create an experience or a reality that places the odds against us. And that's not because of an external influence, it's because of ourselves. We allow that, okay? So these products are wonderful. And again, you know, I've got to a point now that I don't have to do clearings on myself anymore because I maintain connected to everything that I am. And when you embody that light, that soul, that infinite consciousness of you, nothing, nothing can bring you down unless you allow it. And that's where we learn about how we use our energy, our attention, intention, which I talk a lot about in other videos, but also it comes up a lot in healing sessions, also reality coaching sessions. It's, 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 it's kind of when we are connected to every aspect of ourselves, what are we going to do with that energy as a creator? As the soul first, not the human, okay? Because remember, the human is the conditioned version. So what we do with these uh, light pendants is we imbue them with etheric templates, right? The, these etheric energies, and we anchor in the energies that you require at the time. So it's very specific to the individual when you purchase these particular products. And in the future, we can you know, actually just anchor in these some new energies that are coming through and put them straight into here. But the cool thing, if you master your connection to self to authentic self then they will just naturally come in you know like for me they just naturally come in that's why i don't have to do the clearing to incorporate them in because i'm allowing when you surrender to consciousness and let go of the control of the mind and as the human trying to control the process which means you get in the way of it you just need to trust your soul that it's got everything sorted then all these updates will just naturally come through anyway. So I have these products like that. Now, another thing that we that, that I also do is we've got a crystalline incorporated uh, tool, which is a product that is made by someone else, and we're a distributor of it here at Truly Holistic, is the Sunray. So we, we sell this in the 9-inch, this is the 9-inch, and we also sell it in the smaller version, the 4-inch, which we quite often incorporate with a system which I created, which is called the Broadcasting System. And we'll just quickly mention that in a minute. But the sun ring, again, easy. What do I do with this? I put it on, I put it on a wall in a room. Okay. Now, why do I do that? Because it brings through the sunshine, a sunshine effect into the room. Now, what we've found out about the sun is the Latin word for sun is sol, which we pronounce it soul, just like your soul. And we know that the sun, you know, from a human perspective is the greatest light source and energy source we can have. That's why life is here, right? As the human. But if I go up to somebody from a consciousness perspective and say, I want you to go deep within yourself and I want you to connect to your light source, your energy source, what am I referencing? I'm referencing the soul. Now, it's we came to the same conclusion, just change the perspective. Now, the sun is a projection of your soul. Okay? So when we use the sun ring, that's why it's a great broadcaster of intention or amplifier of intention. Why? Because we are most powerful as the soul, not the human. Okay? So when I place this on the wall, it's allowing me a greater sense of my soul embodiment and a higher connection to self. But also what it will do is that, you know, for people that get seasonal affective disorder, like say in winter, when you're not seeing enough of the sun outside, and you get low down and, and, and you get depressed and, well, we, how, how do we fix that? Having this in your room, having this on the, on the ceiling, because that's going to bring those feelings of the sun, even though you might not be out in the sun. So we can bring the healing effect of the sun into your room without having to go out in the sun. We've figured that out. We've figured out how to ground and earth people without you having to connect to the earth. We've figured out to make the best water you could ever drink without having to go out out there and collect it. You can see the sustainability of all this, right? You don't have to keep buying supplements. You don't have to keep buying organic food. You don't have to keep buying superfoods that are expensive. 
make it. That's the greatest sustainability of all, is stepping into what we are truly supposed to be. Right? So this, this brings it up the, uh, the broadcasting system that we implement with the Sunring. As I say, we use the Sunring as part of that system because the Sunring is bringing forth your soul embodiment, where your power exists. All these tools are just training wheels until you realize the, your true potential. And that really, you don't need these physical tools. Eventually, they're training wheels. So this system provides you to figure out, you know, we've got dowsing charts here, what elements or minerals you may need, may, may be deficient in, what superfoods you may need for a particular ailment that you're suffering with. Teach you how to program crystals. You know, crystals are wonderful, but once you realize how to program crystals, well, you're taking it to another level, okay? And what we do now with these products, right, is another step up from programming, we, and that's anchoring the etheric templates in. But, you know, that is kind of when you really master what this before, before getting to that. Also, if you're into crystals, instead of having a physical crystal, you can intend a crystal using the sun ray, using an intention note to allow the or original vibration frequency of what is known as that, that one one percent one, <laughs> representation that we see in this reality as a crystal, say an amethyst. Supplements. Find out what area of your body needs to be cleansed. And then you find out, is it a superfood that's going to help me cleanse that organ or a mineral or a crystal or a medicinal herb? And then you find that out. Medicinal herb chart. So you don't have to buy all that stuff. It, it costs, right? And plus, you're getting those things from the physical world, right? And what's the problem with humans, is, uh, with Earth? Is sustainability. Using all all the, the natural resources. We're, we're, we're taking too much. How do we correct that? Walking into our power and realizing we can just create it through intention. It will save you a hell of a lot of money too. Digestive enzymes. You can bring in the intention of digestive enzymes into your meal before you go ahead and eat it. Okay, so therefore you're fully equipped to break down and assimilate all the nutrients and the food that you're about to eat. Vitamins. Find out what vitamin you may need. It's it's wonderful system, okay? And this is really the future of healing is you stepping into your soul embodiment Letting go this conditioning that you are just a participant and an observer of reality, you are a creator of reality. Okay, so, you know, I don't have to that much anymore, but there was a process, I was using this system a lot. Because again, I've got to a pretty high level of vibration. Okay, so I don't lack. Okay, but a big transitioning phase of getting into all this stuff and a transition from human embodiment to soul embodiment is that we don't emphasize the physicality of things. We realize we can create it through intention and this system, there's no better system in doing that, that transition. Okay, so wonderful chart, whole lot of, gives all the elements, all the minerals. Yeah, we've even got an essential oils chart. So you can use intention for essential oils, superfoods, programming crystals, crystals, supplements, finding what area of the body needs cleansing, medicinal herbs, we've got a couple of those charts, digestive enzymes, vitamins, and what you get with this also dowsing book, because I also teach you in the guide book, if you're new to dowsing, it teaches you how to get started with pendulum dowsing or uh, divining rods or muscle uh, kinesiology, muscle testing, and it also teaches you how to use the system. And plus, you can always get in touch with me, and I will help that uh, system work for you. You know, I'm not interested in people buying the system and just putting it up on the um, shelf for it to collect dust. I want it to work for you, and I'm here for you in regards to that. So, you can see how all these things create more sustainability by you stepping into who you were truly meant to be. Okay, and this is what I incorporate every day. And I've done this for such a period of time that now I don't need to do clearing work on myself. And there's no outside influence that can affect me. Okay, because 
I have greater knowing and understanding of how I use my energy and what I'm truly capable of. Okay, and that's the cool thing about all of these products, the Tensor products, the, the Sun Ring, the Crystalline Incorporated range, the light technology products that we're making now, and the systems that we create and provide. The broadcasting system is a great transition into really experiencing what you're capable through intention and, ama and and your friends will be amazed it'll be like a party track yeah i've done that you know at, at parties with and, and they can't believe it it's incredible okay writing a note of lemon in the sun ring and then all of a sudden they put their finger in and they're like i can taste lemon at the back of my throat this is this can't be happening well you don't know what you're capable of and you're capable of miracles you are a miracle so if you're interested in any of these products, okay, either go uh, go to my website, trulyholistic.net forward slash products forward slash, and the broadcasting system's also there, and all the products, the light technology range, the crystalline incorporated range, but also the tensor technology stuff as well. Like the video if you've enjoyed this video and you're new, please subscribe to my channel, share this video to who you feel like would like, would really enjoy this content. Until next time, catch you later.